everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name's, if you're new here, my name's Georgina. Um, I'm a full-time librarian, part-time illustrator and stationery lover. <laughs> stationery enthusiast, I suppose you would say. Um, today, I thought I would film my planner lineup for 2022. It's actually um, New Year's Eve today. And I've been putting this off because I was waiting for something to arrive and it hasn't. Um, so I thought I would just do this anyway um, and just explain what the other thing is um, and we can just, you know, um, I can just update you when it arrives I suppose. Um, I've got a few things that are staying the same in my lineup for this year, a few things that are changing that are very different, um, so I thought I would just run you through them. Um, I'm going to start with my everyday carry, I think I'll move these out of the way because um, these are more like extra planners. So yeah, let's talk about my everyday carry. So um, if you aren't new here, if you've been on my channel for a little while, you'd have seen that I switched to um, a Hobonichi Weeks um, a few months ago now and it's been really, really useful. Let me just grab my old one. Um, so what I had been doing was um, a, essentially a two book system, but within one um, cover. So I'd been, this was my 2021 Hobonichi Weeks. This one was an April start one, so it was a spring start. Um, and I basically used this um, to be my actual like dated planner. So I used the monthly pages um, to put appointments and things in as the month went on and then I used the weekly pages um, for appointments, to-dos, tracking things, um, my habit tracker and my weekly to-do list. Um, there you go, that's a better week to look at, there's a lot more on that one. Um, and it's been working for me really, really well this year. Um, yeah, I just sort of, since I moved over to it, I, I resisted the Hobonichi Weeks thing for years now. Like when they first became popular a couple of years ago, I got one and was like, I'm not going to use that because I'm not, I'm not interested in that. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, and actually it's been really, really good. I, if you've not followed my, my changes to my client system, which I'm, I'm meaning to actually film a video about obviously the different systems I've been in this year. Um, but if you haven't, if you haven't seen the different systems I've been in, I started out in rings and I've been in rings for years. Um, and rings worked really well for me, but um, I didn't like that things weren't tangible. That um, you know, you took out the inserts and then you can't find that information again. Um, so I wanted something that was more concrete. So I switched to um, bullet journaling, and I really like the bullet journal method, but. Um, I struggle with the fact that you know it, the, you don't have your calendar set, it's not there, so if I want to forward plan I had to try and use the future log and then I would forget to update the monthly from the future log and I, I was forgetting things basically, um, for, forgetting quite big things actually, you know, I forgot um, James's sister's 30th birthday <laughs> um, because I was like just scrambling, I wasn't, it, it wasn't working consistently for me. Um, so yeah, after seeing like Lindsay and um, like Lillian Letters, she shared, she was using a Hobonichi Weeks and quite a few different people I was seeing on Instagram using a Hobonichi Weeks and I decided to give it a go and yeah, it's been really, really good for me. Um, so I started using it in August um, and completely got rid of the um, bullet journal I think in... Was it October? I think I was kind of using them in tandem for a while to see how it went. Um, but yeah, so but with the bullet journal, the thing that I like about the bullet journal is the collections, and I also like the uh, daily logs. So um, I know a lot of people use a Hobonichi Weeks Mega, um, but for me, I felt like the number of pages wasn't enough, um, even in a Mega. So. What I actually decided to do was, in the back of my Hobonichi Weeks, um, put all of my collections and then I was using a, a second book. So this one um, is by Danica58. Um, I cut this one in half, it was twice as thick, 
uh, but I knew I wasn't going to use this for the rest of the year so um, and I, I got how many pages 88 I think 88 pages um, in what three months so that was quite good um, and does remind me that yeah like 200 and what is it 270 or 300 pages in the back of a week's mega isn't enough for a whole year for me um, <laughs> if 80 pages is just three months so I um, yeah so I basically I was using this two book system so I had my Hobonichi weeks and I have my notebook in this planner uh, in this Julio cover. This Julio co cover is an Aponto Slim and it's in the yellow leather. It was second hand, I got it off eBay. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to get one because they are um, quite in demand and they're not in stock on Julio at the moment and they haven't restocked them for ages so they are quite hard to get hold of. Um, so I'm going to be sticking with this method for at least the start of 2022. Um, it's working for me so I'm going with it. Um, I've already put in my 2022 weeks, um, which I've gone for the um, bow and tie um, tiger cover. I have got this um, cover on cover on it just to give it a little bit of protection and because I like the pockets, but um, I'm thinking I'm going to try and get a clear one because I don't like the, that the stripes are going across the tigers. Um, so I might just try and get hold of just a, a plain clear one. Um, and the thing that I'm waiting on is another notebook. Well, if you saw my um, video about this setup, you'll know that I, I had ordered um, some notebooks from Danica58, who I think, it, is it Danica? I think it's Danica58, the Etsy shop anyway, that I got that, this one from. I'd ordered some more. Um, so this is actually, this was a B6 notebook that I trimmed down. And I was planning on using this, um, this has got the Cosmo Air Light paper in it, which is okay for fountain pen use, but it's not, um, it's not my favourite and it's not the same as Tomo River. It's got like a weird coating on it, um, it feels kind of like, like, it does this. I don't like it. I don't like that. Um, they're beautiful notebooks, I just wish they were Tomoe River. And now we know that Tomoe River is going to continue, um, I was quite keen to get hold of a Tomoe River notebook. So I've actually had one made by um, an Etsy shop called Good Ink Impressions. Um, Nuria, who runs the shop, they make Hobonichi Week size Tomoe River inserts um, and um, they do it with Tomoe River paper. Um, they do both the 58 and the 62, and the, no, the 58, is it 62 GSM? The two different types of Tomoe River anyway. Um, it's not as many pages as this, it's 250 I think it's going to be. I asked Nuria basically how many, what the maximum number of pages she could do was, and um, she said 250, and so I said right well I'll take that and then if, it's, if it doesn't work out being enough, um, then I will just I'll order another one or what we have got as a solution is because I can actually bind and cut my own notebooks but I can't print the Tomo, Tomo Riff paper I've tried my printer does not like it um, which is really frustrating um, so um, Nuria has actually said that she would send me um, you know like I can order the actual paper printed <laughs> and then I can bind it um, so that's an option but it is, it's coming from Spain and the first one has gone missing, we don't know where it is, um, it was sent with UPS as well, but I think UPS has been having problems recently because I'm waiting on um, something else that's coming from UPS and it's been massively delayed. And that's only coming from London, that's not coming from Spain. Um, so bless her, she's making me another one and I feel really bad that it's not arrived, um, but hopefully it will soon. And when it does, I'll, um, I'll do a little video about it for you, um, but I'm hoping that it will lasts me a little bit longer than these ones actually because it has got the thing that I'm um, I also really really liked about Noria's ones are they have got the Hobonichi size grid in it so these ones have got a five millimeter grid uh, whereas the Hobonichi uses a um, I think it's 3.7 millimeter grid so it's much smaller um, let me see if I can show you actually just do a little comparison for you this will it might be a bit too bright there we go so you can see like you get a lot more lines per page on the Hobonichi so um, I'm hoping that with the um, 
with the like um, smaller grid I'll also get more lines per page I'll get more notes on each page and actually it might last me a little bit longer than I thought and in the meantime I suppose what I might actually do rather than breaking into this one though I have started setting this one up I've just put index in and just put the lines in for the um, margin that I like to use but um, what I might do is just use the other half of this one for now um, just to tide me over until the um, new notebook arrives but that's my plan for this it's still to stay in the same two book system with the Hobonichi weeks um, just because it's been working really well for me so I'm not going to break it just because it's a new year um, but yeah I'm really enjoying this actually and actually I'm really enjoying this cover I when I first got it I got it cheap because it got marks on it um, like if you can see there's a mark here um, and like the spine was quite dirty and things but actually I'm really enjoying it it's getting a really nice shine to it now um, it's got a few scratches and things which um, if you're new around here and you're a bit of a oh I need to keep my planner pristine I'm, I'm not that kind of person I like my planners to get um, aged I like them to wear um, so I'm really enjoying how this is um, how this is going and um, I get lots of questions about what how much would actually fit in here um, because the Apuntos can actually fit more than just a <laughs> Hobonichi and as I've shown I've had two notebooks in here quite easily without any problems um, and yeah they do they, they've fitted fine so um, let me just put in the, the full size Danica one so it is a little bit of a squeeze. Okay, so this pen um, is too big to go in the pen loop, unfortunately. So that's why it's not in the pen loop. Um, but if you had a, th a thinner pen in that pen loop, then um, it would shut perfectly fine. I've, I've had it clipped on the outside because it doesn't fit. Um, but like, if I have my vanishing point, which is the one that's normally in there actually, I'm pretty sure that it would shut with a pen in it. Let me check. So it is a chunky monkey, <laughs> like really, really chunky, but um, I really like this system. It, you know, it has everything that I need and it's all in one book. So uh, not in one book, but it's all in one cover, you know. Um, so, and that's basically all that's important to me. I just want everything to be in one, one unit um, and for me to not have to constantly be filling um, things out. So I have swapped around which book goes where. I've put um, the Hobonichi at the back this year and um, not just because I'm waiting for the other book but um, because I wanted to be able to take advantage of this pocket here. <laughs> um, I've got this little one here um, but yeah I wanted to be able to use this little pocket on the front of here um, so I've put the Hobonichi in the back cover and then I'm planning on just putting the notebook in the front cover. We'll see how that goes, it depends whether it's uncomfortable to write, but I do have a pencil board so I can always use that if I need to as well. But yeah, so that's going to be my everyday carry. So next I'm just going to mention, before I go on to like journaling and things, I'm just going to mention this one. Um, so I've done a setup video um, of this. This is actually my sketchbook, um, it's my Traveller's travelers Notebook, Traveller's Company Traveller's Notebook, um, and it has my sketchbook in it. Um, which has sadly been not, not not very not been very used very much lately um but um it's where i sketch my spines um and um i also make random notes in it um i've got some pen tests um it's kind of yeah it's a sketchbook but it's also a bit of a um i, I don't know maybe not so much a, a creative journal but like so this is notes from when I went on a screen printing workshop um, but it's yeah it's kind of like a I just kind of carry it around to be that um, and I do have this um, the sketchbook that I'm using is from Blue Sticky um, my friend Michaela she makes these amazing handmade handbound notebooks um, they are made from fabric industry offcuts and they have cartridge paper in them so um, they're absolutely stunning I'll link her shop below actually um, and I ha just have one of her A5 ones that I've trimmed down and then I also in here have um, this notebook which is a Claire Fontaine notebook which again was A5 and I've trimmed it down 
um, and I'm using this to record um, book quotes that I want to use for um, products essentially. It's just somewhere that I can put down book quotes that are relevant to something that I'm working on um, and so that I don't lose them basically and also because I'm then finding these book quotes that, that I want to make something with this quote on I can also then um, prioritise which books I draw next if that makes sense um, so yeah if you're not familiar with that side of my business I'm, um, I illustrate vintage book spines with all of the wear and tear and things on them and I turn them into um, products and things so so that's my sketchbook and that's it's really again another very chunky monkey um but I had this notebook and it's really nice fountain pen friendly paper so I kind of wanted to use it um so it's kind of almost become a bit of a commonplace book really my commonplace book that was in my in last year's um lineup I shared I was using my A6 planner as my travel journal and things and of course we didn't end up traveling very much We'd, we traveled a little bit in the UK but I actually didn't end up really journaling very much while I was traveling I did a little bit when we went to Scotland um, until we got engaged and then I kind of like like it, I was too busy like enjoying that we got engaged to actually journal very much um, so I didn't finish that travel journal I need to do that at some point um, but I um, yeah I sort of I I haven't really been reaching it very much, it's sat on the shelf over here. So that's why I sort of thought if I move it to my sketchbook, which I have with me more often and I have it um, close at hand more often, I'm more likely to um, have it when I need to jot down a quote basically is what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, so that's my sketchbook in my traveller's notebook. And this is something that if basically if I'm carrying a bigger backpack or like a bigger handbag, then I will just bring this with me. Um, if I'm carrying a smaller bag I don't but if I'm even if I'm just like going to work and I'm like carrying my backpack I will take this with me even though I'm not necessarily planning to have time to sit and do anything in here I might at lunchtime decide that I, I want to draw something so I carry this with me when I possibly whenever I can really then um, we get on to I'm gonna do goals first and then I will do journaling. So goals. I have done a little um, first impressions flip through of this. So this is the Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets Goal Planner um, and I'm going to be using this for 2022. I'm hoping to actually film setting it up which I'm hoping to actually do this afternoon. Um, I have started, I've made some notes and started on it um, but I'm hoping to finish that this afternoon and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to having something to if you watched my 2021 goals video which I did in my um, Hobonichi cousin I just kind of I just sort of said oh you know these are the goals I'm gonna do and I had thought about them I had kind of planned them but they weren't things that were um, and I did I did a bit of like oh why I'm doing it and how I'm gonna do it but I didn't go I didn't go in depth and I didn't really think about the real reasons why I didn't get into the nitty-gritty of why um, and that's where I'm hoping that with this I will get more into that nitty-gritty and I will really really focus on um, why I'm doing what I'm doing and have it um, motivate me basically so that's the plan with this planner but I'm not going to go into this too much because like I said there's a video already um, of me doing my first impressions and then I'm going to do a video of me setting it up and then hopefully each month I will do like a when I do the prep for it each month I'll hopefully um, go through that with you so yeah so that's how I'm goal planning this year and then finally we're on to journaling so I um, a couple of videos ago I was like oh I'm not planning on buying anything from Hobonichi for this year everyone's everyone's buying all their Hobonichi stuff and I'm not buying anything um, and then of course I decided to get a week's and um, for a long time I wasn't gonna get another cousin actually that Claire Fontaine book that's in my sketchbook I bought to be a daily journal um, to just be an open book no date constrictions or anything, not dated, just an open book to just free journal in. 
but I've realised that if it doesn't have the dates in it then I don't feel as motivated to journal and journaling for me is something that helps my mental health, helps me deal with stress um, and it just it helps me sleep better because I get things out of my head and onto paper. Um, it's something that is quite important to me. So I have got myself a for 2022. I ordered this from Amazon Japan so I order most of my Hobonichi stuff from Amazon Japan to be fair. I don't very often order actually from Hobonichi directly. Um, so my plan for this is not really to be like I originally planned for this to be for this year. So if, you, if you're new around here, this, this year um, I went all in with decorating this. I like, like set it up to basically be like an archive almost to have like everything in it. I was, I was painting it every month and decorating it and things and um, it was fun, it was fun to be doing that but um, it got more and more um, complicated and more and more um, it moved away from being what I really needed it to be um, so there was my goal spread out. so and I was doing like my habit traffic tracking every month and um, yeah, just it kind of moved away from what I actually needed it to be, and so, I, so part way through the year, I decided to stop doing the fancy stuff. Um, and there is there's a big swathe of time in the middle, kind of here. Um, I did a little bit there, but there's um, a big swathe of time where I just did not, I barely journaled, um, and it's because the doing the fancy prep and everything was putting me off being able to do the actual daily journaling which is kind of what I need this to be so um, towards the end of the year I've not been doing any fancy stuff in it I've not been even filling out the monthly and things though I will probably go back and backdate those um, with stuff that is in my Hobonichi weeks in case I don't want to keep my weeks um, and um, yeah I've just basically been just daily journaling in it and just you know each day I have a page and I just write down my thoughts um, and although sometimes I do feel a little bit like I'm constrained because the it's only one page, I, sometimes I, I can stick in an extra bit of paper or um, like on days where I haven't journaled for a few days and there's a lot to catch up on, I kind of backdate and I just kind of like write from the day that I'm writing but you know this is what's happened on the past few days. Um, so yeah, so that is what I'm going to be using this one for. I'm just going to be doing the same thing basically. Um, I might do a little bit of, um, I might still update the monthly, but I think I'll probably be doing it backdated and I might, I might try and use the weekly. I'm not sure because I do feel like I quite like the timed um, layout of the weekly to try and get my head around, you know, how my week it's going to be like how much time things are going to take me because I do struggle with prioritising time. Um, but on the whole, this is going to be a daily journal. That's its main purpose in life is to be a daily journal for me. Um, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to use each page to just play with my fountain pens and journal about my day and enjoy it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using the cousin for. And it will be going into my undyed cover, which the whole reason that I bought this cover is for it to hold my journal um, because I wanted it to show wear as I used it. I mean, you can see it's got marks on it, it's got discoloration and stuff. And it's because, you know, it does get used. Um, and I really, really love this cover. <laughs> um, so that's going to be like my daily journal. And then I have my five year. And so I bought this to, um, yeah, to be my five year, to just put in what happened each day. Um, and this, like my journal, I stopped filling out. Um, I do want to go back and go back and refill out the dates that I've got a daily journal entry because I can I can kind of figure out what to put in them. Um, because this isn't so much a journal; it's more what we did that day. So I can use my my other planners to do that. Um, so one of my plans for this week is to spend a bit of time getting 2021 up to date so that I'm ready for 2022. Um, but I do want to kind of make this more part of the routine so I want it to be that as I'm doing my daily, daily journaling I can then also just quickly put in the main things that have happened that day into my five year um, and that can be sort of like my winding down at the end of the day and then I also normally will sit with my weeks and just like make sure that I've got the next day ready so kind of the end of the day I think will kind of be this kind of 
this kind of stuff that I'm that I'm playing with. But yeah, so that is that's kind of my plan. I, I'm I'm not really um, I've not really planned to use my travel journal. I mean, we have got holiday books, but whether it'll happen, who knows? Um, I just really I'm not um, I'm not feeling confident about. <laughs> Um, holidays and things. I think we've just had so many years of um, of them not happening <laughs> that I kind of I'm not feeling I'm not feeling confident about them actually happening this year. I will say. So um, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> which I'm sure James is like. Oh, I just want to go on holiday. It's the same holiday as we've had, but every other time. Um, it just keeps not happening so it's quite frustrating for us um, but I know everyone's going through the same thing aren't they so but yeah so this is my planner lineup really this is what I'm planning to use um, I hope that you found this video interesting or useful um, I am going to be there will be a um, 2022 setup of my weeks that's already filmed I filmed that a couple of weeks ago actually no maybe even more than a month ago I think now it's very long so it's taken me a long time to edit um, and I'm hoping to do a setup of this um, I'm not planning to do a setup of my cousin because there isn't much setting up to do um, but and I'm thinking I might actually sit and go live maybe on Instagram to when I when I fill this out back to this um, but yeah that's the plan I hope that you have enjoyed this video if you did please do like it and give it a, and subscribe um, uh, especially if you're into planning videos um, I do also share like um, studio vlogs occasionally if you're more into that sort of thing then um, there's also that sort of thing here um, but yeah I hope I'm hoping you know for everyone's sake that 2022 is a bit of a better year but of course we all said this last year didn't we but never mind um, I'm sure things will start to improve as time goes on but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I will hopefully see you soon in another one. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.